You would like to build a strong team in battle camp, but you feel like that is virtually impossible for you? That might be because battle camp is a rather old title for a mobile game at this point, and the sheer number of different monsters and ways to increase their power can be overwhelming for players, especially if they are relatively new to the game. So, in this first installment of the Perf Pet Battle Camp Guide, I will go over the basics of building a powerful team with a strong focus on players that do not want to spend large sums of money or even any money on this game. If you want further information on the game and be alerted when I upload a new video, please do consider subscribing. If you want to participate in giveaways for good monsters and want to ask questions about the game and how it functions, I'd kindly advise you to visit the r slash battlecamp subreddit on reddit.com. All links are provided within the video description. Let me preface this guide by introducing you to the basics of monster variety. Monsters are split into three categories in battlecamp. Regular monsters, which are basically worthless nowadays. Event monsters, which have extra attack power in certain events and R monsters. For building the strongest team, only R monsters are a valid choice. So, how do you know if a monster is strong? The most basic way a player can judge the strength of a monster is of course through rarity. The rarity of a monster is prominently displayed on a banner that decorates the monster's image in your inventory. There currently are 9 different monster rarities in the game. Common, Uncommon, Special, Rare, Super, Ultra, Epic, Legendary and Mythic. For the sake of this video, we will be solely focused on the rarities between Rare and Epic. The first three are not interesting for our goals of achieving a strong team, and the last two are close to unattainable for players that do not intend to spend large sums of money on the game. Now, while rarity is a quick way to judge a monster's capabilities, it is absolutely not a surefire method of assessing a monster's prowess within fighting. Just take a look at this example. This Ultra Monster outperforms this Legendary. Why, you might ask? Because the Legendary was the very first Legendary to be added into the game, way back in 2014. Whereas this Ultra was released in 2018. Because the developers of this game, Workshop or previously Pennypop, want to incite people to get newer monsters, all monsters that are newly released outperform the older monsters. So over time, monsters have higher and higher stats. This means that you cannot use rarity as a good way to assess the strength of a monster. If you are unsure about a monster's power, you can always check bcrank.us for statistics on all monsters. Here you can click on Catalog then enter the rarity you want to check. Open the options here, check not evolved, then choose sort by attack. This will give you all basic monsters of a selected rarity sorted by their attack power. Okay, now we got that lengthy introduction out of the way, how do you actually get the strong monsters I was talking about? Through smart planning, trading and patience. Quick word of advice, do not try to get ultras or epics in the beginning. In fact, if you play without ever spending money on the game, you should aim to build a super team first, and then later you can build teams of higher rarities. But wait, you say. I got free ultras in the daily rewards, you say. True enough, as of 2020, High droppies are given out twice a month in the daily rewards. But here's the deal. As I alluded to earlier, rarity is not a good way to judge strength. 
as you can see here, several super monsters are stronger than this ultra. Now, this does not mean you should not use it. When the rest of your team is comprised entirely by rares, this guy will be your strongest monster. Just don't fall for the lies of its sweet, sweet ultra banner. So, before choosing a monster to collect, check for the strongest super monsters on BC rank. Or, let me just introduce you to the current super elite. As Penny Pop has not released new supers in a long time, it is quite likely that at the point of view viewing this, these monsters are still the strongest supers. They are Wrathclaw, Snarfox, Pyrobteryx, Nimbunny, and, kinda special, also the Swamp Puppy. While the latter is not as strong as the other monsters, it is an event monster and is dual element wind and stone, which is beneficial for you, as it will do extra damage against water and wind. These monsters, like all supers, are available in the thousands on trading platforms, and you should have no trouble finding them. Quite often you could even have troop mates that are willing to give them to you, as they themselves have no usage for super monsters anymore. But assuming you do not have that nice teammates, how do you get a hold of these monsters, when you have no monsters of similar strength to trade with? Through specials. Specials are monsters that have close to zero fighting capabilities, but they possess different qualities. Their passive ability gives them 2, 3 or even 5 times the experience boost when being fed to another monster, which makes them super important for anyone who tries to level monsters. That is, everyone in essence. While playing through the campaign, you will necessarily stumble upon special monsters. Every time you come across a 5 times special, keep it. If you have any gold from free gold offers, events or promotional codes, use it to buy more space in the inventory. This will greatly increase your ability to stack monsters and make progress much faster. Once you have garnered a few of these specials, you can scout for the super monsters and their evolutions on BC rank. Just click the trade tab and enter all the monsters you are searching for. You could, theoretically, also trade the ultra monsters you get in the daily rewards for one of these supers. But ultra trading is only enabled for players of level 40 and above. This specialty super trade should be repeated until you have a team of supers, at which point you should have a power rating of several hundred thousand. Once you have leveled your monsters to the max, that is. If you are interested in building an even stronger team, I would recommend watching my advanced team building guides, where I touch on zodiac matching, passive and active abilities, equipment, event damage calculation, and more. This, you could say, is then where the fun begins. Once you have reached a good quality super team, you have started your reign of success. If you actively play in events now, and use your energy often, you should be able to rank high enough in the events to receive ultimate spins. These will be stored in your inventory and you can use them at any point to receive new monsters. I would suggest waiting to accumulate 9 spins at the very least, as quite often there is a reward of a free ultimate spin after the 9th spin, so you get 10 spins in total. Of course, you can also do multiples of 9. If you wait for a long time and spin 81 spins for example, you will receive 10 free spins. 
An event to look out for when spinning is also the famed energy spin. Usually around Christmas, for a limited time only, every spin gives 10 energy, which could really rack up if you have a few dozen spins. I waited until I had about 200 spins for example, and then had over 2000 energy to spend. Once you are in the ultimate spin loop, it's in great part luck that will determine how fast you will propel forward in terms of strength. But before you dash off to build an epic team, I want to reiterate that a super team is the most sensible option to build a potent team for beginners. A team of super monsters can get you far in the game. So unless you have reached a power rating of at least 400,000, I would stick to supers, as they are easier to get, easier to level up, easier to trade for, and easier to evolve than higher rarities. Ok boys, so this has been a real doozy to make. It's the first video I have edited to any remarkable degree, and it has taken me a lot longer than I initially anticipated. I would estimate like 40 or 50 hours of work for this one. So if you could drop a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. I aim to release the other guides in quicker succession so that you don't have to wait too long. And I will also try to upgrade my audio equipment. I know there's been some background noise and lip smacking, stuff like that in the background. I'll try to get that fixed. But now let's get on to that giveaway I promised. I am giving away a full team of Phosphor Rollers. These are evolved supers and they will be a sizable upgrade to anyone that is relatively new to the game. Like if your power rating is below 100,000 or maybe 120, 130, 100, up to 150,000, this will be a substantial upgrade. If you're already above 250,000, this isn't really the giveaway for you, but uh, you can still participate, of course. If you want to participate, you just have to drop a comment with your Battlecamp username on this video. There's no like requirement or subscription requirement to enter the giveaway, though they'd still be appreciated, of course. Uh, the drawing date is not set yet exactly, but it will be within September, so this month. So yeah, that's the giveaway. Thanks for watching and a fine day to you.